Good morning, you beautiful people of YouTube. This is Wayne here once again for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel, bringing you my third ever Dark Souls 2 play session, my third ever Dark Souls 2 recording session, and the third time I am ever going to rage quit my life. I hope that final one is not actually what's going to happen, because I am caffeine fueled to the shit brick fucking lots of coffee in my system and I have more coffee and this guy's just spawned with a cool helmet that I want. Give me that helmet you son of a bitch. No and then I rolled through him and he disappears into the sunset. So yes my friends I am here for another Dark Souls 2 recording session. Today is the 25th of March 2014 and like I've just said this is only the third time I've ever played Dark Souls 2. I have not been playing Dark Souls 2 off camera this is as blind as it gets when it comes to a recording session because you guys requested that I play this game as blind as possible and that's exactly what I've done. I am not playing this game off camera at all. I don't have time to play it off camera at all with the amount I'm working lately. So let's do a quick recap. We bought the cat ring from the cat in the thing over there and we attempted to drop down that hole but our hit points are not high enough. Our equipment is looking pretty hench. We have a great sword plus two, thanks to finding some Titanite shards in Huntsman's Cops in the last recording session. We also found the notched whip, but we can't equip that because we do not have high enough dexterity at this present moment in time. We've still got the falcon and boots equipped as they are better than our actual knight's leggings, unfortunately. We have knight gauntlets, knight's armor plus two because I put some uh, Titanite shards into leveling that up. And we also have the knight helmet. We have a good collection of rings. We've got the Clorinthy ring uh, in order to uh, speed up our stamina recovery. We've got the Ring of Restoration to uh, boost our hit point recovery. The Ring of Blades to increase our physical damage. And the Silver Cat Ring to decrease our fall damage, which has come in flawlessly helpful so far. Now, I remember that I was exploring Huntsman's Cops last time and I was rage quitting everything. We were at the bridge approach bonfire and I was not taking my time in my approach to the other bridge. I found that other bonfire area and I did nothing to <laughs> help my cause with unlocking it. We kept getting caught off guard by mages and shit like that. So yes, I'm just going to keep an eye out. We are still playing online now thanks to the online servers now actually being secure. There was also an update when I just loaded up the game and I have no idea what that is. So if you guys are playing Dark Souls 2 and you have any clue what that update is, let me know. So I have a huge great shield equipped, I've got my great sword equipped, and I'm going to try and take it as slow as possible now, because uh, not only have I died a hell of a lot of times, I need to start surviving, and I've been offline for quite some time when it comes to Dark Souls 2 since the last recording session. I believe it's been over a week, so I need to get back into the swing of things slowly. I remember how to beat these, we need to lure them in, I need to go one-handed to block their initial attack, then I need to go two-handed and swing like there's no tomorrow. Three times should do the trick. And it did indeed. He's given us 600 odd souls and a soul of a nameless soldier. Uh, let, let me just wait for this son of a bitch butterfly to uh, stop shitting all over us. He's, is he going to do his shit or is he going to carry on not shitting? You've just had a big shit. Do you really need another one this soon? No, I can go. Okay. So that's not the way I want to go anyway, I need to go this way. There's something in there, but I do not know how to get in there. So I just need to sprint out of the way as to avoid uh, the butterfly. Now we just need to head up here, and I believe we just need to kill all these things. And then I can start work uh, remembering, actually. Start remembering where the hell I have to go from here. So I'm just going to sprint in. Oh, it's attempt to kill this guy. I always seem to forget about that, uh, that particular ambush. Uh, now... If my voice sounds a little bit groggy, folks, it's because I've just got out of bed. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's my only day off work this week. And I'm spending it recording for you guys. And, of course, for myself. Because I really, really, really want to make some progress in this game. Uh, it's easily one of my favourite games. It, it easily is my favourite game right now. And I just don't seem to have any time to play it due to my shocking work schedule. I know I shouldn't complain. Try leave it in the short back. Yes, I've done that. I know I shouldn't complain, but it's just whenever you have a game this good and you can't play it, it really does eat at your soul. No pun intended. It eats at your soul whether you like it or not. It's brutal. So yes, my voice will get better as we go along. I'm still on my first coffee of the morning, but I was determined not to waste any time. I've been so excited for this day off since it was announced that I was getting this day off. 
And yeah, that's 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 the end of that. I'm just ma gonna make sure that I make the most of today's recording session, today's play session. So we kill the first skeleton, but as we know, the skeletons do not stay dead. I'm just gonna kill this son of a bitch off. Oh yeah, that, that thing curses me, so I need to get away from that. Jesus, we got skelly skelly boys everywhere. I'm just gonna sprint through now because uh, well now we've got a lot more skeletons as well, so I'm gonna lure the ones outside that need to be lured out. Kill the ones that need to die. That one's dead anyway. Just jumped off the cliff, I believe. Yep, there we go. So we unlocked this shortcut in uh, the last recording session, uh, which led us to this particular potential boss door. I still haven't been through that fog door, but I assume, as we had a message here saying a duo ahead, that it's going to be a boss room. But we still know that there's a bonfire that I have yet to unlock. And that is why I've returned straight to this area, because... Uh, we've got this route here that's blocked off, but we also had this route here where I was attacked by that black phantom, and as you can see, that's the last place. That's the last place I died, and then I rage quitted, and I have not loaded Dark Souls 2 since. So I need to try and remember exactly what the fuck happened that resulted in my inevitable death. Uh, that bridge is gone, so we can't get there. But I did collect some souls from there. Ah, yes, I was ambushed by these bastards. What the hell? Where the fuck is that one coming from? So I'm being ambushed from somewhere and I have no idea where. Oh, that's that's coming from behind me. Jesus, maybe this is why I was dying so badly at this point. Okay. So I am going to use a, another Estus Flask. Because I do not want to be caught off guard by these guys when I'm uh, working my way around. Let's see what this message says. Sniper ahead and then Phantom. I think I've dealt with a Phantom. Let me just get my souls back. 1,000 souls, so it, well, it's not really a lot, but it's enough. Is this enough to aggro them? Yes. Okay. So we knew that this guy was going to come in and try to get us. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I facing that way? So there's the sniper ahead. Uh, let's try and deal with this guy now. Oh, there's another bro. Jesus, come on, you son of a bitch. We'll lure the melee fighter first. Two-handed for that guy for a swift uh, single-shot kill. Now we just got this guy. Well, is there going to be someone else in there? Yes, there is. So we do not want to be caught off guard again. I'm going to go two-handed because he's a melee fighter. What am I doing? Face the other way. Nice. Okay, so we, we dealt with that. I know, I, I've never been this far, so what I'm going to do is use one more Estus Flask before I attempt to head inside there. Where have we got in there? We've got a soul light. It looks like it's one of those hollow things, so something might drop from the ceiling or something. Here. Okay. Undead lockaway key. Okay, so maybe that key's for the bonfire room. That would be that would be good. I would be happy if that was this was the key for the bonfire room. Now, I, again, I haven't been this way. I've never been this far as you guys saw in the last episode. So this is all new to me. This is all new to me. Which is that? Where have we got here? Is that a skeleton? Pick up item. Alluring skull. Oh, this is where I this is where I came in, I believe. So hopefully, if we head. Uh, back through here, we should be able to get to the skeleton, to get to the bonfire. If this key is indeed for the bonfire. Now I'm confused, I don't know how I ended up back here. Yes! Undead lockaway key is indeed for this room, which gives us access to this bonfire. Ooh, an NPC as well. Yes, travel, undead lockaway, yay. Huntsman's cop, so we've got three bonfires unlocked in the Huntsman's cops. And we also have this son of a bitch here. Hello, sir. Who are you? Hello. I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. Now I can find him. The cheeky prick. He <laughs> won't know what hit him. Cheeky prick. I thought I was the only one that said cheeky, but no. This guy has just literally made me giggle and snigger like some sort of child. That's what that <laughs> was. That was me snickering and yeah. He said cheeky. Cheeky bastard. I am Crichton of Mira. I travel from land from to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way. But he was no more than a backstabbing knife. He took the first chance he had. To try and off me. 
I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. Thank the stars that you came along. Let's talk to him again. You be careful of him. Pate. I think he Ooh, said. drama. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it. When you see it. I've seen his type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. Pate, really? I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man's better off dead. Tell me up. He's a slick talker, so don't let him fool ya. Mm. One more time. Pate, the man with a strange ring. Watch out for the slimy rat. And don't you believe a word he says. Ooh, I love the NPC interactions. And put an end to his roguery. <laughs> Yeah, what we're saying is I love the NPC interaction in this. It's so much more immersive than uh, Dark Souls 1. Even Demon Souls as well. Fist pump gesture. Let's talk to him again. Oh, that's it. That's all he's got. Uh, let's rest at this again. Uh, then I'll try to figure out where the hell to go from here. I've got 2,928 souls. Uh, it might be worth going back to see if I can actually afford a level up at this point. Is he gone? He's just gone. I, I just left. I just left. And that you, this guy's already vanished. There's no way he snuck past me. Okay, so we know we've got the Lost Bastille. We've got the Huntsman's Cops. Undead Lockaway. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go and see if I can afford a single level up. I know it's not really much. But uh, it's going to be worth it just for the sake of... Well, it's a level up. Titanite Slab. Because I'm, I'm probably going to waste these souls if I don't spend them. Seek lest this level up. Come on, bitch. Ah, damn. Right, well, we might as well go and see where else we can afford, if anything. Let's go to the blacksmith first. I haven't visited the blacksmith for quite some time. You might actually have some good stuff, though. <laughs> yeah, let's just see. By. Can I reinforce at all? Reinforce. Ring of life protection. Nullifies death but breaks. Reinforce weapon and armor. Yeah. No, nothing at all. Large titanite shard for that. But our knight's armor is already way better than that. So I could level up that, but that's also shit compared to my good old great sword. Now, if I'd have put another titanite shard into that instead of my armor, then I could have gone for a great sub plus four. Arg, the things you know when you know. He's got plenty of arrows. Uh, that's it. Anything else worth taking? Fuck all. I'll screw you, blacksmith. Hey, bet don't you waste my time, son of a bitch. Right, back to this merchant. I know the other merchant only sells a good shield and I've already got that. So I'm gonna buy an item. As a fist's weapon, we've got a travelling merchant hat. No, we've already got our armour sorted. It's probably just going to come down to um, extra life gems and effigies. I've got five effigies. Amber Herb. Oh no, she sells. She's only got five to sell. Yeah, I should probably be more careful with why I'm using my effigies. Okay, so I've purchased one of them. And I can purchase four extra life gems. And that is my souls now gone. Just in, just in the event, not that I'm uh, planning to die or anything, but just in the event that I die. Huntsman's Cops, Undead Lock Away. Let's head back there now. And I will continue to explore my surroundings now that I've got a cheeky bonfire to actually teleport back to in the event of sudden, accidental, stupid, retarded death. Okay, I'm going to keep one handed for now just in case. Uh, did I head across this way? Yes, this was the way I came in the first place, I believe. So if we head back through here... Now, I'm just going to have to just keep exploring. I think I could go through that fog door and see what we've got to expect. But, like I said, I don't really want to waste a human effigy if possible. Hidden path ahead. Oh, shit. 
Never mind hitting Pat to go fucking skeleton here as well. An angry son of a bitch. There we go, kill juicer. So we got this thief. Yes. Now that leads just all the way back, doesn't it? So we do not need to go that way. We've got a sniper still after us, so I'm just gonna charge him with my great shield up. Uh, let's beat the shit out of this guy. Oh, these all respawn as well. Look at him just chilling. He's like, yeah, I'm going to catch you off guard. Um, no, son. Oh, God, yeah, you are. There's two. Well, there was two. They'd both be dead. Gods be good. Gods be good. Well, you just caught me off guard. I knew there was one there, but I thought he wasn't there, and then he was. I need to go one-handed. Jesus, I need an Estus Flask. Never mind anything else, I need an Estus Flask. It sucks when you're still exploring these areas because it's so easy to get caught off guard by things. So, I think the only thing to do now is literally this potential boss door, this fog door. Hopefully that guy's uh, left his summon sign. He hasn't. Well, fuck you twice, sir. I'm going to regret going through here, I know I am. Is there any way that I, I can like leave my summon sign and go and head through here and see what's here first? Leave summon sign, yeah, no, that's a small soap song. Um, blah? Do I have a predator soap song? Yes, there. Why can't I leave this? How do I leave a summon sign, folks? Come on. Help a brother out. There we go. Now leave that there. Then at least someone can summon us into their world. We shouldn't lose our humanity, I believe. And then we can go in and see if there is a boss in here. Because I don't want to be caught off guard. I don't want to use my all of my humanity up and my effigies up as well. Check your summon sign. When ye? Cancel summon sign? No. Weakness. Trio, therefore charging ahead. Try eliminating one at a time or weakness pyromancy. Secret ahead and then secret ahead. Where? Oh, here. Really? I don't see a secret. Hmm. I think someone's lying to us, folks. Yep, no secret. Please, someone summon me into your game so that I can at least see what I'm going up against. I'm just going to go in and end up dying. So is that another fog door? Fog door leading to nothingness unless there's a route. Right, yes there is. Look, there's a door there. We can just see a door unless it's blocked off. I don't know. I don't think anybody's going to summon us, folks, so... I think it's going to be best. Let's just go. Oh god, what am I doing with my life? I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself. Your summon sign has disappeared. Okay, so what is this? What am I doing? What is gone? Skeleton Lords. There's... There's... One. Oh god! Oh god, oh god! Okay, okay, okay. Right, I need... Oh god, there is three, there is three. I need to sprint away. And use an Estus Flask. Which was the one I actually attacked. It wasn't that one. There's the bro. There's one down. There's the other son of a bitch. Alright, if I lure him this way. Where is he? Where is he? Oh god, he's here. They've got the little skeletons now as well. Eesh, run out the way, Wayne. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There's two down. So little skeletons that are going to give me aggro now, I believe. So I need to lure these away from me. Yeah, we got a lot of little skellies there. Oh shit, balls! Fuck, Estus. What are you? What are you? He's angry. He's a jewel wielding son of a bitch. And he means business, bras. Fucking hell, look at all these. How the 
bloody shit am I meant to do this? Look at all these little bros. What was that? Right, I'm just running, charging in. Let me just explain what I'm doing, folks, because I know I'm... I'm oh, God. I know I go quiet whenever I contemplate and think of these things that I'm doing. Uh, the re What I'm doing is just basically luring all these little bros over, oh, age, over here and then using my uh, double tr right trigger attack. Right, there's another one down. Now, maybe if I just charge in, where's the Lord? Oh, is that, is that the Lord? Okay, right, I've dealt with that son of a bitch as well. What about where... Is there something else? What are you? Oh god, it's one of those fucking wheel things! It's one of those wheel things from Dark Souls 1. Okay, run away, Wayne! Oh fuck, Estes! Shit, 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 shit! Come on, Wayne, Estes, Estes! I have no Estes! Oh shit! Ah! Oh, God, I hate myself! I had no Estes and I didn't notice. I did not fucking notice that I had no Estes. I should have switched to life gems. Well, that's why that didn't work. Because I had no Estes. At least we know what to expect. So I managed to switch to my life gems after I died. At least we know what to expect and that shouldn't be too difficult as long as I take them one at a time. I deal with the little bros. Deal with the little bros. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this guy as well. Yes, as long as I deal with the little bros. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. See what I mean? It's just, I'm raging again. And that when you rage, you die. <laughs> that just seems to be what happens in Dark Souls. Right. Now, I don't want to waste an Estus Flask, so I'm just going to go straight for a life gem. Uh, and obviously need to kill this guy, otherwise he's going to catch us off guard. I didn't know there were two. I did know there were two, I just didn't. If that makes sense. I forgot. Because I'm just hell-bent on trying to get those bosses out of the way. How mad was my rage then? Well, that wasn't that. That if I seriously, I think that if I had been a little bit more patient with that boss battle and uh, a little bit more on track with what the hell I was doing, I think I would have been able to do that the first time. The only reason I died is because I switched out. I was trying to use an Estus flask when I didn't have one. Which is a little bit dumb. But shit happens. At least we know what to expect now, folks. Even though I did lose my humanity, I'm not going to get it back. It seems pointless to do so. Have I got anything that I can use? Uh, burn? What? What is this? Burning a bonfire to upgrade Estus Flask. So I've got something that I can... Uh, where the hell did that come from? I've got something that I can use to upgrade my Estus Flask, apparently. Pharos locked down target of fidelity, da 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 da. Apply Dak to right handed weapons. Aromatic ooze. Poison resist. A dark sign armor bond, divine blessing. Blah blah blah. Come on, I've got to have something that's gonna. Isn't it, is, it would be light damage or something, I think. Ah, fuck it, let's just go. Let's just go. Enter the mist. I'm going to keep two-handed for the time being. Now we want to lure the first bro across the way here. Here he is. Oh god. He's got his, he's got his little bro. He's like, hell, right in there. Oh god. You're right there. You're right there. So I'm going to go for a life gem straight away. Which will result in me coming around here. 
killing that one. Now I'm going to use my previous tactic, because that seemed to work well, where I use my right trigger attack to uh, kill these guys off. Or not. Where's the other guys coming from? So we've got a couple. Mash the button way! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Well, you are a helmeted cunt. Even if you do look really awesome. I hate skeletons. I hate skeletons. I hate my life. Why does Dark Souls make you question the reason you're alive? Well, I'm going to try again. That's damaged my actual overall health as well, so that's not good. That is not good. That was my own fault. I should have ran to the other pillar. Why am I dooming myself? What am I doing? Does this skeleton respawn? Yes, he's still here. He didn't die either, that was odd. Okay, let's try again. I'm determined to get this boss done before the end of this. I say I'm determined, it's probably not going to work. I'm going to try my best to get this boss completed. I need to go one-handed quickly. Because we've got this bastard shooting arrows at us in our general direction. Gonna go two-handed again. He's right here. There we go. Yeah, we know we're, we're gonna ca uh, have these guys, so I'm not gonna get caught off guard this time. Fucking eat my giant blade, you prick! Is this guy aggroed yet? Yeah, a little bit. He's a little bit aggroed, but not too much. Now we're gonna get caught off guard by one again. Where the fuck? Where the fuck? I'm just gonna keep running. I don't know if it's going to be worth using a life gem before we go in this time. Because... Right, this guy actually is coming on way over here, so I'll deal with, it, deal with him. Uh, we, we're not really that desperate when it comes to life, so... I'm just going to switch straight to the Estus. Head straight through the mist. 27 minutes. There's my souls. So, same tactics. This guy is going to be lured all the way here straight away gives us the opportunity to deal with this one straight away. Well, there's one down. Now I need to quickly avoid this guy. His little buddies are going to be all like, whoa, I'm here! And I'm going to be like, nah. Alright, oh, there's a second one gone. Now I need, this is the part where I died earlier. I need to un unlock on, uh, sprint the shit around here. I did use a life gem just now, by the way, that's why my life suddenly, uh, bolstered. I said bolstered, not bastard. Unlock on, Wayne, why do you do me alive again? Sprint back around here. Uh, quick life gem, just to be on the safe side. Run away! Shit! No, 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 whole lot of no. What am I doing? Why, why aren't I running? Why am I not? Why am I not fucking running? Estus. Oh god, I hate myself. Damn you, life. There's another one dead. That's a two-handed. So these little bros actually came to the overall broage. Well, fuck you twice. Keep sprinting, son of a bitch. Estus again. Now we'll kill the little bro again. Twice, hopefully. I'm not using any different tactics, folks. It's all the same. Right, so there, that should be the end of the little broage. Now it's just this big bro and then the wheelie wheelie bros. So is he going to come to me or shall I come to him? Let's go to him. Right, there we go. Now I'm going to quickly use a preemptive uh, life gem. Where are these coming from? Where are they coming from? Where, where, where are the wheelies? There's a wheelie. There's a second wheelie. Oh no! Two-handed, two-handed. There's another wheelie. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that... No, no, no! It's still alive. He's still alive. There we go, there's a the, there's the final one. Yes! 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 Skeleton Lord Soul. A shit ton of souls. Are you still alive? You're still willing about. No, you're dead. Yes. 
fuck you in your wheelie bony face and look at all your skulls floating about. Oh yes, oh, you are son of a bitch, yes. Ah! <laughs> yes, I can't believe I did it. Praise the sun. Agreed. Agreed. Now, I'm not going to push my luck. I'm going to go back to the bonfire. Then I'm going to explore all of these bastard things. What's this? Fine work. Thank you. I, it wasn't exactly fine work, to be fair. I, I'm very surprised that I managed to do that. Oh, God, that is disgusting. Right, I need to head back to the bonfire. Just, be, just before I have a heart attack or something. Now, what's the quickest way back to the bonfire? It's this way. So we've already dealt with all the thieves. I need, I'm going to go back. I'm going to spend these levels, level ups, levels ups. How do you say that? I'm going to spend all of these level up, levels, these upsies. Fuck you. And then we're going to head back to the Huntsman's Cops and hopefully make some progress. <laughs> Let's see what's beyond that valley, shall we? Oh, God. I can't believe I did that. Who would have thought they would actually beat a boss? Without, like, Megadeth. Megadeth? That was a good band back in the day. Are they still around? Probably. Touch of bloodstain. Right, where the fuck is this bonfire? Because I cannot wait to rest at this bonfire. Now, I would label this title How to Beat the Skeleton Lords, but uh, I think that was a bit unorthodox as well. Every, the thing you've got to realise, folks, is that I have a very unorthodox playstyle. It's just run, gun, hope for the best. Beat the shit out of everything, probably die. That pretty much narrows it down to the detail about how I play Dark Souls 2. But I think we did alright there, to be honest. Well, the best Bits. way we possibly can do yes. okay. Right, level up. Okay, so what shall I spend these levels on? If we just go to uh, straight to 30 strength. Because uh, that's a nice... No, no, it's a nice number. Nice number. One, two, three. Th we got three additional levels after that. Uh, what increases my equip load? That would be vitality. If we go to 15 vitality, then the final level on our hit points. In fact, it would be a good idea to just go straight for hit points at this point. Straight to 15 hit points. Because we are trying to get enough HP to drop down that well without dying. So yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to round off my strength at 30 until we can find a better weapon, if there is a better weapon. Then we'll just start focusing on our hit points. That did you guys just see that guy's great sword? Holy shit! Right, I know I can burn at the sublime bonus. Charred ashen bones. Cast them into the far fire medulla to increase the HP restored with each use of your flask. Fair play. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm gonna burn that shit. Oh yeah, boy. Some forces strengthen the Estus flask. Excellent. Happy with that. Right, my friends, I'm going to end this episode there because we've got a quite a lot done. We accidentally killed a boss. And now I am going to go and make myself a victory coffee. And then we're going to return back to uh, the, the Huntsman's Cops, the Undead uh, Refuge Bonfire Thingy Bob. And then we are going to see what's beyond the, ram the realm of the Skeleton Lords. Oh, God. And breathe. Thank you for watching, my friends. All the best. And I shall see you in episode 17. Goodbye.